So if you've watched this channel before uh, or have been watching this channel for a while, you know that uh, I like putting parts guitars together and I think it's time to put another parts guitar together. And this video is sort of uh, uh, part one, uh, the idea stage. So um, we've done parts caster guitars on the channel before. There's for example, the parts master caster blaster, my jazz master style guitar that you can watch the video on that here. And there's a vendor caster and there's the aluminium neck guitars I've got back here. Um, I like even just the idea, often, uh, you know, you lie in bed, you're awake, you kind of think, oh, what could I do? What, what, what would be interesting? You know, you kind of daydream. And so I thought I contact the lovely people at Warmoth uh, Parts who make amazing stuff. Alex has got a couple of guitars that are Warmoth guitars and he always, he loves, you know, the build quality of them. So I thought, let's contact Warmoth. Let's see what we can do. And let's do this first video as a sort of an ideas stage video. So let's check out Warmoth. So this is the Warmoth website. You can go to guitar bodies and these are all the different types of guitar bodies they have. They've got Strat style ones, they've got hybrid Strats, um, vintage Tele style, Thinline Tele, La Cabernita's Tele. Uh, that looks kind of cool actually. Different Tele, uh, different Jazz Masters, Split Jazz Masters, uh, Jazz Casters, Moon Casters, Regal. They've got interesting looking ones they've even got iceman style body which is kind of cool um but they've got all these different types of bodies tons of stuff to pick from even double neck holy moly or a body blank where you can cut your own thing out now what i was thinking and why i sort of got an idea uh, or this initial idea of doing another parts guitar was not that long ago we did a video with the tom de long starcaster and you can watch the video up here I'll put a link up up there and i really really liked that guitar it felt great i sort of bonded with it but there were a few things i didn't like about it then i ended up buying this which is one of the squire starcasters and again, there's some things I really like about it, some things I really don't like about it. I like the sparkly finish, for example. Um, so I thought, wouldn't it be fun to build a Starcaster style guitar? Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, uh, Warmoth calls them Mooncasters. So if we look at this, if we click on this, you can look at what's in stock or you can build a custom Mooncaster body. Now, uh, you can even do the Tom DeLong style thing, speaking of Tom DeLong. It's right there. Uh, now I have a few ideas, so I think I want to build a custom Mooncaster body. So let's let's check it out. Let's click on custom Mooncaster guitar body. Uh, now here it is. So this is what you can do with warmers. You can kind of build whatever you want it to be. Uh, let's just go through it. So construction, it you don't have much of a choice. Calf top, hollow body. That's what it is. Now the core wood. Uh, I wanted to be fully painted. I don't want any wood seen. In all honesty, I think I'm just going to go for whatever the cheapest is, just to keep it cheap as a build. So I'm going to go for Poplar. That's $165. Let's go for a Poplar body. Uh, that's the core wood. The laminated top wood, I don't think it really matters because it's going to be painted anyway. So I'm going to go for whatever's cheapest again. Uh, well, older, $75 seems to be the cheapest. Or well, I mean, there's Bird's Eye Maple. Black Carina, but it's going to be painted over anyway. So I'm going to go, let's just go for older. Let's go for an older body. So older top. Uh, we want a right-handed guitar. We want a rear route standard control cavity. Now pickup wise, um, I think I'm going to go humbuckers and we're going to go wood mount. So not with a, um, with a pickup ring around it, but direct mounted. Uh, and with this, let's go both. Um, no, just straight, both straight humbuckers wood mount i want two f holes because i i like the idea of the f holes i like here what that's actually one of the things i don't like about this how it doesn't have f holes uh that's one thing i liked about the tom de long had had f holes so i like the idea of f holes so let's go with f holes now control wise i think i just want one volume one tone and a lower horn toggle switch i think that's that's probably the easiest i don't think i need four controls where the other are they on the other side? Yeah, they're on the other side. I think I'm just going to go. Should I go on top? Should I go on the bottom? Let's go on top. Let's just go those. Uh, jack routes. I have no idea. Th three quarter inch or seven eighth inch. Uh, let's go. I don't know. Bigger. Twenty two millimeters. Yeah. Let's go that. 
it's a, I guess it's a jack rabbit on the side here. Uh, now, bridge, I think I just want to go for straight. I would have really liked to have gone for a Jazzmaster style, but you can't do that on here. So it's a Strat style tremolo, Wilkinson tremolo, float rose on that, could be fun. But I think I'm just going to go for a hardtail. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go tunomatic uh, with, yeah, the, the two-piece tunomatic, so the bridge, yeah, so not, not a wraparound one. Uh, bridge studs, nah, don't need the bridge studs. Mounting holes, uh, standard four bolt. Uh, so I guess that's these, yeah, that's the standard mounting holes. Uh, let's go for... Can you get tummy cut? No, with this you can't. So there's no tummy cut, no contoured heel, so you can't get that. Way. Oh, neck pocket shape, sorry, hang on. Uh, we want a strat shape. And yeah, let's do, why not? Contoured heel and tummy cut. Why not? I can't unclick them anyway. So that's the way it is. Uh, now, uh, bridge and edge decoration. I think I want binding, but let's look at the binding after we pick the color. I oh, know we gotta pick the binding first. So let's go for, because I think I have an idea. I want to go black binding. Let's just start with that. Uh, I don't want a battery box. Okay, now paint. This is where it gets interesting. And I think I would like either a metallic or maybe flake. Uh, let's have a look at the metallic colors uh, and what there is. Please select. Aluminium. Nah. Uh... Ooh, burgundy mist. See, that's something like that could be cool. I, I like the idea of something sparkly. What about uh, Lake Placid Blue in a metallic Lake Placid Blue? That could look good, something along the lines of that. Uh, what about Purple Frost? Ooh, that's nice. I like the idea of something like that. Uh, Shamrock Green? Is it going to be just a really green green? Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Uh, Spectra Blue. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, so that's a metallic finish. But then the other thing I'm thinking of, this has sort of a bit of a flaky finish to it. So maybe I should go for something a bit more along the lines of a flaky kind of color. Uh, let's check out flake. So what colors do we have? We have a blue flake. So yeah, flake. I think I need a flake. Uh, goblin? What's goblin flake? What color is that? Now that's like a like a vomity green, gold green, hollow flake. Oh, like a like ooh, that's cool. Like a holographic, like a hologram. Like it it changes color. That could be cool. Inferno flake. What's that red? Like a or orange? Okay. Uh, turquoise flake. Ooh, now see, I like this. And I think that would, that, I mean, that is, again, it's a bit inspired by this. I think this is called like a gun, gun barrel or gun metal or something like that flake or, or, or something like that. It's some gun related thing. Um, but I quite like that. And I mean, the back color would be the same, I'd say. And you'd have to make it gloss, wouldn't you? So, I mean, I think, or oh, actually, can you, oh, satin could be interesting, couldn't it? Like a satin flat? No, but I mean, you want it gloss. Let's go gloss. So I think this is what I would go for. Um, yeah. So let's just say this is what I would go for. That's the body. Now, what would look good as a neck with this? Now, the other thing I did uh, before this video already, already, is I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have something along the lines of this, right? Um, Starcaster, Mooncaster kind of vibe thing, but with an aluminium neck, so a la these. So I contacted, um, I saw lots of ads on Instagram for a company called Hoxie Guitars, Hoxie Aluminium. Uh, so I contacted Hoxie Guitars and Cam at Hoxie Guitars was absolutely lovely and said, sure, we'll send you one. And we sort of went for something along the lines of this. So it's uh, one of their kind of design headstocks. 
It's a 12 to 16 inch compound fretboard radius. Uh, it'll be fully satin brushed finish except for the fretboard itself will be polished. So it'll be polished front, everything else will be satin in the back. Uh, with dot inlays, uh, 25 and a half inch scale, 22. I think we ended up deciding to go for uh, stainless steel frets. But one of the main things why I went for this is it's chambered. So what they do is they drill holes through the whole length of the body to chamber it, to give it weight relief. Because one of the things I thought was with something like this, you've got a hollow body, right, which is fairly light. And these things, the necks themselves weigh a ton. But that is only meant to be 1.75 pounds. It's not that heavy because it's chambered. So I thought, how cool would that be? And the lovely people at Hoxie Guitars said, you know what, let's do it, we'll send you one. So, I mean, this is sort of a, in slightly in retrospect, a the design ideas of this. Um, so what's coming is a Mooncaster body from Warmoth in a tur turquoise flake finish uh, in gloss with black binding with direct mount humbucker pickups, uh, which will go together with uh, a rather lovely hoxy aluminium neck. Um, and then I thought, pickup wise, what would be something kind of interesting to put in there? So what I did was I contacted an Australian pickup maker because I always like to have at least something Australian in these parts guitars because I'm Australian. I want to try and keep it local. I heard a lot of great things about Mad Love pickups. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is I maybe contact Mad Love pickups and ask him if there's any particular pickups he's uh, about to bring out or uh, in the process of getting ready or anything he wants to promote. And he was saying to me, and I don't think they're on the website yet. He's just about to bring out, uh, oh, now here it is. Um, these Travis Bean style humbucker pickups. Um, because I mentioned to him, it's gonna be an aluminum neck. Uh, and he said, you know what? Uh, with the aluminum neck, kind of like Travis Bean, uh, and my internet's really slow. Let's go for something with like this. So uh, Mad Love pickups are sending me uh, two Travis Bean style humbucker pickups to go into the bridge and neck position on the guitar. So basically we'll have one of these bodies with one of these necks with that headstock shape too. Uh, and locking machine heads I think are coming as well. And in that body there'll be a tunematic bridge and tailpiece. And uh, two of these uh, Travis Bean style humbucker pickups um, it's the, the sound of the aluminium neck TB1000 Travis Bean guitar with extra sustain and bright tone. So uh, I had, we had a chat and he said, uh, Michael from um, Mad Love said, these would be perfect. So these will go in it. So long story short, this is video one. Uh, there will be another video when all the stuff arrived, but I'm putting together this parts guitar. Uh, again, it's a sponsored guitar, sponsored by different manufacturers. Um, but just to showcase what can be done, so it'll be a Mooncaster, Starcaster, Mooncaster um, body with a flake, um, turquoise flake um, paint job with black binding, with Travis Bean style pickups and a chambered aluminium neck. I'm super excited um, to get this. Now, uh, they've already told me, especially with the Mooncaster, uh, this is one of the longest taking possible things they can build. So the, the hollow body guitars always take longer. Binding always gives it extra time and the flake finish gives it extra time. So they reckon it could be four to six months turnaround for this. So it'll be a while. Same with the aluminum neck. He said he's gonna make one, especially for me. It's a, they have other orders to fill. So uh, this is sort of something that is being made whenever they've got spare time. So it's a four to six months time frame. Now, when this video comes out, uh, this video will be around the time when the stuff arrives, I think. We'll see how everything goes. So uh, stay tuned for uh, the next video when all the parts arrive or some of the parts arrive, hopefully, or all the parts, we'll see how, how close together they all arrive. 
Uh, and then there'll be a third video where I put it all together and then we'll do sort of a demo of the guitar. So I'm really excited, really looking forward to it. Um, if you want to find out more about this guitar and you want to follow the progress of this guitar, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button, all that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, let's build a parts guitar. This sounds like fun. Uh, more awesome guitars to showcase on this channel. And thank you to all you people for watching. Thank you to Aaron at Warmoth Guitars, thank you to Cam at Hoxie Guitars, and thank you to Michael at Mad Love Pickups for being absolutely awesome and being part of this build. So stay tuned for the build, make sure to hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come out, and yeah, see you in the next one, bye.